Hi friends and drama nerds, welcome in today's drama where we have, The Ledge. After an atheistic neighbor has an affair with his wife, a vengeful fundamentalist Catholic forces the man to choose between killing himself or allowing someone else to die in his place. We start with Detective Hollis, who is in a fertility clinic to donate his sperm. But at that moment the doctor informed him that he is infertile, and he has been infertile all along the time of his marriage life. The detective is completely affected by the news, since he had two children. Time passes and Hollis is already ready in his office. He is interrupted by a fellow student who informs him that a man named Gavin is about to jump from the top of the building. Hollis goes to the top floor to talk him out of it and tries to calm Gavin down, asking him a couple of routine questions. Gavin reveals that he has no choice but to stay on the ledge until noon and then jump otherwise, someone else is going to die. And there is no way for the officer Hollis to change Gavin's mind. And for this, there is just over an hour left. When Hollis asks him what happened, Gavin takes us to flashback. A couple had moved into to Gavin's building, Shauna, and her husband Joe. He sees her just as she was leaving the building. They both take the same bus and smile at each other. Later, Gavin, who works as a hotel manager, he is surprised when he sees that Shauna had applied for a job at the same place. After a brief interview, Gavin hires Shauna to start working immediately. Later, at home, he tells his gay friend Chris about the new staff. Coincidentally, Shauna and Gavin are neighbors and now they work together as well, which seems quite curious to Chris. But Gavin rejects any ideas his friend is having in the head, since Shauna is a married woman. Shortly after, Shauna and her husband, Joe, knock on Gavin's door to introduce themselves. Then Joe invites Gavin and Chris to dinner. They both accept the invitation with pleasure. The night that Gavin and Chris meet at Shauna's house arrive, and they go at the couple's apartment. When Joe asks Shauna to go get wine, Gavin goes to the kitchen to help her and they chat for a bit. Joe mistakenly thinks that Gavin and Chris are a gay couple, and prays for them at the table, calling them an abomination. Offended, Gavin abruptly leaves their house. It turns out that this new couple are very conservative devotees. The next day at the hotel, Shauna apologizes to Gavin for what happened the previous night. Gavin, to calm the atmosphere a little, invites her to lunch. As they walk, Shauna tells him that Gavin is wrong about her husband. She tells him about the terrible childhood she had, and how her husband, Joe, saved her life by helping her with her drug addiction. Later on, Gavin offers her a drink, hinting at a drinking problem despite his modest demeanor. He is surprised to see that Shauna opened opens the bottle with her teeth. They talk about Gavin's friend Chris, and Shauna finds out how Gavin took Chris in. When Chris lost his job due to the discovery of his HIV-positive status, it was Gavin who helped Chris with the place to live in. After this, we return to the present. It turns out that Gavin was telling Hollis all of this. Right there, the officer receives a call from his wife, Angela, but Hollis doesn't pick up her call. At that moment, we see flashbacks of that morning. His children ran excitedly out of the house to greet him. Hollis then confronts his wife wife and demands to know whose children they really were. He is completely furious at being deceived, making him believe they were his children all these years. After this flashback, the story returns to Gavin, who continues to tell everything he experienced with Shauna. Joe, the next morning, apologizes for assuming that Gavin was gay, but he tells him that if he doesn't change his attitude, he will go to hell. Gavin picks up the pace, telling him that they should talk about gays in hell, and why not? But at another time, since he was a little late for work, before parting ways, Joe invites Gavin to join him on Wednesday night. While riding the bus, Gavin tells Shauna that he was married, but that his wife had abandoned him. He starts flirting with her until the woman reminds him that she is married. When Wednesday night arrives, Joey preaches to Gavin about his religion. As an atheist, Gavin maintains that it is ridiculous to believe that only the believing people will be saved, and reproaches him because a child was hit by a bus without ever having heard a word of their religion, she would have to go straight to hell. Joe maintains that spreading the gospel is very important. The situation escalates quickly and turns into a shouting match, which Shauna interrupts and asks Gavin to please leave. Afterwards, she tries to calm her husband down, but he tells her to go away. The next day, Shauna tells Gavin about her past as a drug addict and prostitute. Then she met a pimp one day, her pimp sent her to a man in a church, and there they beat her. After the beating, Shauna could barely walk. Joe found her the next morning and took her to the hospital, so that's why she feels she owed Joe for her life. Shauna asks Gavin to stay away, and he sadly agrees. Three weeks later, Shauna sees Gavin comforting a staff member that she was crying because her father's demise, and she is surprised to see Gavin caring for others like that. At night, while Gavin smokes outside, Shauna joins him. He invites her to look at the stars and kisses her, but she stops him and leaves. Joe sees her doing things very late and becomes suspicious. The next day, Shauna goes to Gavin's office and kisses him, but there is a knock at the door, so Gavin tells Shauna that he will reserve an hour for Shauna to meet. Shauna goes to the hotel room and I would email him the details. Later, while Shauna was 
was bathing, her husband checks his phone reading email, although fortunately Gavin had used a previous employee's email, so Joe doesn't know that Gavin is the person she is cheating on him with. Shauna tells Joe that she has to cover someone's shift at the hotel that night, so he has to go. She then heads to the hotel room where Gavin was waiting for her. Unbeknownst to Shauna, Joey had followed her there. Shauna and Gavin make love, and when Shauna was about to leave, Joe sees her kissing a man while leaving, but can't tell who it is. The next day, Gavin asks Shauna to leave her husband. Shauna says she feels scared and sorry for Joe, but she has also distanced herself from him because she can only think of Gavin, who says he feels the same way about her. That night, Joe has to leave on church business. As soon as he leaves, Shauna goes to Gavin's apartment, without knowing that Joe was hiding in the house to know what his wife was doing. The two make love again while Joe, heartbroken, listens to everything from behind the door. After making love, Gavin reveals that he had a daughter. She had died two years ago in a car accident. He always blamed himself because he was driving when a truck was about to hit them. Gavin turned the wheel in the wrong direction, which caused the truck to hit the side of the car in which his daughter was. His wife could never forgive him for the little girl's death, which led to their separation. Back to the present, Hollis admits that his wife cheated on him and recently discovered that the children he thought were his, they are not biologically, because he was sterile. Hollis explains that he and his wife struggled to conceive and underwent fertility tests many times, but he never checked the results because his wife said everything was fine. Months later, they had a son who, unbeknownst to Hollis, he had been conceived by his own brother through an agreement he had with his wife. Hollis breaks down crying as he tells all this to Gavin and begs him to come into the building. But Gavin tells him that he wants to, but he can't. Their conversation is interrupted by another officer with news about Joe and Shauna. They are both missing. Gavin continues his story. He and Shauna planned to tell Joe the truth about their affair, but Shauna wanted to confess to her pastor first. One day, Joe sees Gavin and Shauna kissing. He books a hotel room at the place where she works, and when Shauna arrives at the room, she is surprised to find her husband there. The next day, Joe invites Gavin to his apartment and reveals his past to him. Joe was previously married and had two children. He had struggled with substance abuse and sin. He lost his job when his wife and children abandoned him. Hitting rock bottom, he entered a church, found God, and was reborn. Feeling saved and believing that God had sent Shauna to take care of her, Joe thought he felt pure love for her, until the night he heard them making love at Gavin's house. Joe with the gun in his hand realizes that he shouldn't die. Then, he points the same gun at Gavin and tells him to read a Bible verse that calls for the death of adulterers. But Gavin responds with a story from the New Testament where Jesus saved an adulteress, challenging only those who without sin would cast the first stone. After Joe lets him go, Gavin tries to call Shauna, but Joe answers the phone. He confesses that he is in favor of the ruthless justice that was read in the Old Testament, but he tells him that they both didn't have to die, just one of them is enough to die. He threatens Gavin that he is Shauna with a gun to her head, and he will shoot her at noon, unless Gavin jumps off a building. Detective Hollis tells Gavin that if he had told him the truth sooner, they could have found Joe. But still he tries to convince him not to do it. The officers were already searching the hotel across the street for the kidnapper. For a glance, Hollis notices Joe right in the opposite building. Joe and Shauna watch everything from across the street, as Gavin is on top of the other building. When there are only minutes left until noon, Hollis begs him not to jump. Gavin asks the detective to tell Shauna that he loved her, and looks at the photo of his daughter for the last time, thinking that he didn't want the same fate for Shauna. Gavin kisses the picture as the noon bell rings, and then jump. The crowd below can't believe when they see Gavin falling in the middle of the street. Moments later, the police find Joe and Shauna in a hotel room, and they arrest him. Later on at the station, Hollis tells Shauna that Gavin loved her. She thanks him before leaving, and she sees her husband praying in his cell as she left the place. At the end of day, Detective Hollis cries sitting in his car, while watching his family inside his house. He remembers Gavin's words, to go to them and accept them, because it wasn't a cheating matter, but saving the family by bringing kids. His children greet him when he enters, and they have dinner together. Hollis apparently, is willing to forgive his wife, and tells the kids that he is their father. Thank you for watching, please give us a like to keep this kind of story coming.